What is up, students? Although vaping makes you look sick on the outside, it also makes you the other kind of sick on the inside. That's a homonym. So for today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to quit vaping in less than 24 hours. First step in the process, I gotta prep my dome to say later to nicotine. And the best way to do this? Hypnotizing my mind into thinking that vaping is not chill. And you think that the reason why you started smoking was because you saw Leonardo DiCaprio smoking and you wanted to be a legend and smoke? <laughs> yeah, so I, I heard that Leonardo DiCaprio um, vapes. Right. I even heard that he uh, vapes while boning. Um, mm. Yeah, so that like doubled. Wow, that was like that was like legend status times two. Yeah. And so I've always wanted to be like Leo. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I started. So as soon as I heard that, I went straight to the vape shop and, uh, you know, just been doing it ever since. Well, with your big ball, you're probably more of a legend than he is, right? Thank you, yeah. It's actually down to normal size now. It just <laughs> swelled up that one time. Opening up your chest muscles to open up your heart. Vaping is a, an addiction that is not necessary. You were not born into this world with the vape. better? Are you seeing the black negative popcorn lung come out through mm -hmm. the vape? Good. And this is something that's learned. Sorry. And this is something that can be unlearned. Zero. One. Two. Sorry. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Eyes open wide awake. I feel like you were really responsive, but I feel like there was something there, like you're nervous about letting go of the vape. Yeah, because I feel like if I can get through like 24 hours, if I have someone like holding me accountable, that's that. I think if I like like how you took it away from me, mm -hmm. if I had someone to like take it away from, you know, to, to hold it, mm -hmm. then I think I could, you know, sort of let the anti-vape clouds just really sink in yeah. to my mind. Yeah, but I want you to know that you you have power. You don't need anybody. You don't need anybody outside yourself. Yeah. My hypnotherapist advised me to avoid distraction for 24 hours. Now I knew the best way to do this was through radical accountability. Now, all of my friends vape. So I had my producer create a Craigslist ad for a fake dating show to lure someone in. And then once I got him, I would ask him to kick it with me and hold me accountable while I struggled through heavy withdrawal. And then I picked one up and he left town. Next thing I knew, this was like three years ago. I right. started, I'm like, oh, okay, I, this is my life now. I, just, I, I didn't realize, I, I don't know if you knew this, but I guess vaping is like bad for you. I've heard that, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Actually, I did hypnosis uh, yesterday um, to try and get off it. So I've been trying to stay out oh, for really? like 24 hours. Oh, okay. yeah. But I think the biggest thing for me is like accountability. Mm. Like, if I can be held accountable by someone yeah. um, to not vape, that would be. Well, what about your girlfriend? Would you be able to like hold me accountable? Sure. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Like that would super help me out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, cause the hypnotherapist gave me like an accountability letter. Would you be down to sign like a accountability kind of contract for me just to help keep me off it yeah. for the next like? 48 hours? Well, cool. So whenever you, you need to think about something that really disgusts you, something that makes you go like you, you want to throw up, yeah. and think about that thing to, and feel it and put yourself there so you can actually feel like nauseous yeah. and connect it with that. Just like some kind of like punishment. I don't know. Yeah. It's, like, just, like if I could, it's worth a shot. You if know, if I, I mean, could connect like a punishment to vaping, then I think that would like... Get your girlfriend to spank you every time that you... Yeah. <laughs> well, I like that. That might not be a punishment. <laughs> Chris seemed down for the cause, but I could not leave this up to chance. So I devised a plan to use a form of negative reinforcement developed by the CIA, along with a legally binding contract signed by a notary agent, which said that if Chris saw me vaping, he would have to punish me, and if he didn't, he would lose his life savings. Would you be able to sign this uh, accountability? agreement and then we can have it signed and notarized like this yeah so uh, what do you mean by uh, this is a real notary job 
Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on, that's my notary. Awesome. Do you have a restroom that I could use? Okay, thank you. What does notary mean? Oh, okay. The notary lady can tell you. It's basically certifying your signature. So it's you signing, you yeah. have to see IDs, uh, make, make the document that it was officially you signing the document and not, you know, by anybody else. That yeah. For the printer? Yep. Just waiting on Chris. He might be going number two. Mm -hmm. Does it feel like it's down all the way? All right. <laughs> Would you be able to read it for us? Chris and Chad, whereas Chris desires to and sensitizes Chad to refrain from using a vape and maintaining a healthy lifestyle by waterboarding Chad if he uses a vape. And Chad is willing to accept such insensitive agreement may not be amended. Amend except in writing and signed by both parties and Chad's mom. So basically if I vape, then you have to waterboard me. Is that cool? Nice. Now that the T's were dotted and the I's were crossed, we were ready to chill for the next 11 hours and 58 minutes so my lungs could begin the journey to vape-free paradise. Have you gone off it for like more than 24 hours? Right. Dude, my like, um, it feels like my brain gets stuck a little bit. Dude, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, I can't resist. I'm sorry. I was, it was just like a little. It doesn't matter. I have to waterboard, you know. You do. All right. Guys, I know I'm buffed up. I'm sorry. I could not resist the craving. Chris now had to waterboard me, so we headed to Rouse to pick up the necessary waterboarding supplies, water, and a hand towel. Excuse me? Yeah. Do you know where the hand towels are? Hand towels? Yeah. Um, like, uh, like actual, like, uh, I, I think like or one, like ones that we could use for waterboarding. Oh, those! I don't think we carry those here. Oh no! I know that we have hand towels and like normal towels and such during the summer, but not during this time of the year. There's no like uh, dish towels. Or, like... Um, I guess it would probably be an L number fifteen. Okay. But I don't think that they'll be like big enough for waterboarding. But I think it should suffice though. Okay. Cool. I feel like I should uh, say what a parent says. It's going to hurt me a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Okay. I just take that. Yeah. Whoa. You've never been waterboarded before? No. Have you done it before? Have you done it before? No. No. I haven't. Okay. And I never thought I would. And I ran a summer camp and I used to uh, have to discipline kids. Yeah. So we're doing this. All right. Why are we doing this? Do you like vaping? Yes, but I should stop. You should stop. You're going to stop, aren't you? I am. Are you going to stop? Yes. <sighs> Tell me you're not going to vape anymore. I'm not going to vape anymore. Tell me you're not going to vape anymore. I'm not going to vape anymore. Tell me you're not going to vape anymore. <laughs> All right, okay. All right. All right. Okay. How was that? Dude, that sucks. Is it scary? Yeah. Did it suck? Yeah. But I can tell you this, dude, I will never vape again. Did it make you again. feel like you don't want to vape again? Dude, yeah. That feels low. Yeah. Dude, thank you so much. Waterboarding was epic. The experience was so brutal that in a weird way, it hurt so good. It washed my lungs of any desire to vape again. In fact, it was so successful that my producer booked a meeting with one of the top lobbyists from Big Tobacco to show them how they can get the youth to quit vaping. So we got a presentation. 
for you. Yeah, very stoked on it. Chris, do you, you want to join me? Yeah, yeah right sure. Right here? Okay. Like right there? Right over here? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> what up, Big Tobacco? I'm Chad. This is Chris. Vaping is one of the coolest things you can do. When I see someone blowing fat clouds on a motorcycle, I think, hey, take my girl. Sorry, babe. Right now, there are 55 million vapors worldwide, and about 1 in 10 of 2.5 million U.S. students are vaping. Now, 39% of high school students are considered heavy smokers. What's up? Which guy? The guy behind. What about him? Um, him? So, you said it was Lou Ratchet, right? For what? You said the, the guy was going to be Lou Ratchet, a customer of mine. Oh. I don't know where, uh, I think I know where he's going. Uh, uh, I, I don't want any videos, bro, so. Well, it, it, we just have a presentation. You no, know, the thing is, he lied to me. He told me it was going to be someone else. But this, just, this could revolutionize no, this not, the vaping this not, industry. It's not the thing, though. The thing is, he told me it was going to be someone else, and you're not the guy. So now I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Well, I, I I'm actually... I'm out because you're not my customer, so I'm not allowing you to fill me in here no more because I don't know you. You see where I'm but going? But it could be a happy accident no, because I'm presenting a huge you, business opportunity. No, hold on, bro. I don't want you to fill me in. That's it. You know the story. I don't know you. You don't know me. I don't know this guy. This guy lied to me. He told me it was going to be someone else. All right? So that's it, bro. I don't want you to fill me in here. Just step out. Um, clearly, clearly Big Tobacco is hard to infiltrate, so, but I think this is a good method, so I think we should be persistent and probably find somewhere else. Vaping is one of the coolest things you can do. When I see a dude blowing O's off a motorcycle, I'm like, take my girl, bro. Vape Nation is the coolest. We all know it. After hours of vigorous research and using myself as a human guinea pig, I have found a foolproof plan to quit vaping in less than 24 hours. And I've used it on myself and I can guarantee that I am not going to vape ever again. I'm sure of it. Waterboarding is a form of torture developed by the CIA. And let me be clear, he did waterboard me and the process was so brutal that I'm 69% sure that I will never vape again. Now. The price for this method and product is $69. You may think that 69 is a funny number, but let me tell you, vapors love the number 69. They think it's hilarious. So we will have the SEO on lock. Along with the kit comes your own water jug with a QR code on it. On top of that, Chris will give a TED talk on his method of waterboarding, and he will also be available for consultation and to waterboard any of your prospective clients.